All right, welcome to learn how to do black light spray paint art. So really, it's just about the same as regular spray paint art, but we're gonna be using fluorescent colors. Now, I'm enjoying using uh, water-based spray paint. So this is Montana Water Base 300, and there you can see it in the black light. And here it is, just normal. So I'm gonna get started, make our planet, lay down some white, try a little fluorescent yellow, a little fluorescent blue on that planet, a little fluorescent green, just playing with a whole bunch of different fluorescent colors, pink and white on the top, so it's nice and bright there where the light should be the brightest, and pass my newspaper over it, and there we have some cool looking fluorescent planets. Add my shadow on one side, it's really simple. <laughs> and make sure that top is nice and bright and add some colors down below where my land's gonna be, a little fluorescent yellow. I'm using all fluorescent colors. The only things that are not fluorescent are the white and the black. Now the white's gonna come out looking like the fluorescent lamp color, which is kind of like a purpley color, but it's interesting looking too. And the black is just gonna let us really isolate those bright fluorescent colors so they can really shine. You need something uh, not fluorescent, so you can see the things that are fluorescent. So I filled in some black in my sky, filled in some light in my sky, a little pink, a little yellow, a little white, why not? Just improvising any color I want. The stars are white. Again, they're gonna look a little bit purpley in that light. Take my planet off, shade it. It's really the same thing that you do when you make a spray paint art painting, but uh, you're just using these really cool fluorescent colors and it'll glow in the black light. And you get all those intricate, cool designs. Use my newspaper, make some mountains. This is just a quick little improv. Let's make like a little desert in front of these mountains. So I've got a little pink there, just a tiny little bit of black, and take my poster board and wiggle it back and forth, and I've got like the sand dunes coming at me. And let's surround that with maybe some, some rocks, just a little black, and move it around with my newspaper to make some rocks. And the cool thing about this Montana Water Base 300 is you don't need transparent. All you need is a little bit of water and a spray bottle or a little bit of Windex is what I use. And I can loosen it up again. And maybe I'll, I'll add a few, uh, I'll add a few little um, flowers and plants to the edges there. Just tapping them on. And you can use a lot of different tools to do that. I go over some of them inside the membership area of Spray Paint Art Secrets. You can use crumpled up newspaper, you can use all kinds of different paint pads, you can use sponges, lots of things. I'm going to add a few little stars by poking a hole in my poster board and spraying some white through it. And maybe I'll fog out the edges with a little fluorescent green and I'll add some comets. And that's really all I'm going to do. It's a very simple little glow in the dark painting. So this should get you started with some, some cool fun stuff to do. Get some fluorescent paints, give it a try, and there it is in the black light shining. That's what it'll look like on your wall when you have the black lights. You can create like a whole a whole uh, party scene if you want, a whole bunch of posters. Or, I mean, you can get really, really detailed and intricate. This is just a little, a little fun little thing to do. Um, if you're interested in spray paint art lessons, check out Spray Paint Art Secrets. We have a free lesson for you. Click on those videos to see other uh, things that we can teach you and come get your free video lesson tutorial from Gerardo Amor, one of the inventors of spray paint art. See you there, ciao.